next inductee tonight is Daryl Riefschneider. And I don't know, Daryl, if you remember, but about 15 years ago when I first started the industry, Manchester had a um, distributor meeting, I believe, it was out in Palm Springs. And that was one of the first events that I went out to as I started traveling and, and learning the industry and meeting new people. And um, it's a very fond memory because you know, we had an opportunity to talk and here's this new young guy in the industry. I don't know, I don't know anything about the propane market. But at your own event, you had the time to talk to me just to kind of get me up to speed a little bit to kind of let me know what's, what the industry is, how it's working, and all the integral parts. So, again, you may not remember that, but I remember it fondly, and uh, it's one of the first memories of me being in the propane market. In the weeks after we announced Daryl Reef Schneider's selection to the LP Gas Hall of Fame, we were struck by the admiration that both he and his brother Rob had for their now departed mother, Molly Reef Schneider. The influence Mrs. Reef Schneider had on her sons was obvious the more we got to know both Daryl and Rob throughout the Hall of Fame process. She served as a mentor to both at Manchester Tank, setting the standard, they say, for values such as fairness and integrity. And, as Daryl says, his induction to the Hall of Fame is as much of a tribute to his mother as it is to him. Daryl Reef Schneider, the longtime president and CEO of Manchester Tank, enjoyed a propane career that spanned more than 50 years. He was instrumental in growing what was once a small company into an enterprise that employed 1,400 people across eight plants by the turn of this century. Looking back, though, Reef Schneider's career with Manchester Tank began with some highly challenging years for him and his family. Reef Schneider's father, Edward Reef Schneider, purchased Manchester Tank with a partner in 1946. Edward became the sole owner late that year, but his sudden death in 1947 put a major decision before his wife, Molly Riefschneider. Sell the new business or invest all of herself into it and keep the company in the family. At the time, Molly only had a sixth grade education, but she trudged onward despite the challenges ahead. She set the example for Daryl and his siblings. Rob Riefschneider and Elaine Rule, who would also serve Manchester Tank in key capacities. Daryl worked in the business from day one, at a time, he says, when the company had just a single product and only one customer. After graduating from college in 1955, Daryl began working at the company full time. By 1972, Daryl took over Manchester Tank with his brother Rob. The company ventured into the propane grill market in the late 1970s. It was a move that spurred tremendous growth. Manchester Tank produced large volumes of 20-pound cylinders at a low cost to grill manufacturers, positioning propane to dominate the grill market for decades to come. Darrell's crowning achievement, however, was undoubtedly Manchester Tank's OPD, the Overfill Protection Device. The OPD came about at a time when propane cylinder accidents had been piling up for years. The subsequent lawsuits were time-consuming and costly for the industry stakeholders involved. And the accidents arguably put the days of self-regulation in the propane industry on the brink of an end. But Daryl sought a solution, one that would put an end to the senseless incidents occurring after a person overfilled a propane cylinder. After a number of years of research and development, he brought the OPD to market. Requiring the use of the OPD was another matter, one for which Rob took responsibility. But finally, in 1998, NFPA 58 enacted OPD requirements on key propane cylinder sizes. And a victory was had for all, in that Manchester Tank did not patent the device. The company's selflessness positioned everyone affected to benefit. Described by his peers as extremely loyal, Daryl Reef Schneider was there when the propane industry needed him. He was there when other manufacturers took the expedient route and left the market. He was somebody the propane industry could always count on. It's a great honor to be nominated to this great Hall of Flame tonight for 2017. Many thanks to the magazine, the staff, the propane industry, the suppliers and employees of Manchester and this great, for this great honor. With me tonight are as follows, Lord Davis, 
my brother Rob and his wife Donna, my son Dale and his partner Dale, Lonnie, my daughter Jill and her husband Neil, my grandkids are here, Jill, I mean Jill, <laughs> Laurel and her friend Chris and Chad and his friend Katie. My older grandson lives in Florida and could not make it tonight with his family, but we, there was as well. <clears throat> Key mentioned employees that helped us make this all happen are also here tonight. Larry and Gaycorn, Vice President of Finance. Bob and Patty Dietrich, Vice President of Marketing. Shelly and Mike Muller, and their son, Dr. R Ryan Muller, Vice President of Sales and Marketing. Tom and Marshall Freeland, Vice President of Engineering, Mark and Janet Miller, Director of Product Safety and Chief Pilot. And many thanks to the 1,400 employees that made this all happen. This is the family stories you have heard tonight. Family means family members, key employees, and suppliers. This is a family story. We started this thing, you know, my folks bought, started it in 19. 35 or thereabouts in Kellen, Colorado, population 21, and we were five of that. <clears throat> My brother Rob and I rode our bikes to the early days to the plant about 10 miles away. He was 11, I was 13. We both worked in almost every job in the, in the plant and the office over time, and we were told that our individual talents built our strength. Our mother had a true inspiration and set the, the, the example for us, our success. And 65 years later, the company grew to eight plants. I think you said six a ago, but I counted eight. 1,400 employees and sales of about 200 million. I've been asked many times, how many tanks and cylinders do you guys actually make over time? I don't, really don't know. I lost track. We did make a lot of things though. We made gas grill cylinders, tanks for the RV market, forklift cylinders, 420 pound cylinders, air receivers, CFC cylinders, and of course auto propane tanks, and many more. As you saw tonight, the magazine did a great job of telling the family story, so we won't need to go into it again. They did a great job of telling us what we did. And we can truly say, 52 years, we never had a bad day. Had some tough days, yeah, and some bad nights, but still the future was always bright. We, me, my, myself, my brother Rob, our key employees, we did a lot of things, and we were happy about that. We did bring to the marketplace our inspiration and our commitment to safety, the OPD valve. We bought powder coating to the industry, pre purged cylinders, Autosonic testing, leak detectors for RV, RVs, and we were always ahead of the ball game someplace, thinking outside the box on tank design. And I said earlier, this has all not been possible without three important women in my life. We're no longer with us tonight. My mother, Molly. And quick story, about 1955, she went to the bank and tried to borrow $10,000. The banker said, ma'am, you're broke, I don't know it. <laughs> my sister Elaine Rule and my wife, Don, my wife Joan, who raised our kids when I was traveling. Today, I'm enjoying life at the fullest with my fiance, Lowell, and my great business partners. I'm in partnership with a hardware store, lumber, and building supply company, a home building construction, and involved in the propane business also. But my life today is, is pretty much, you know, around the, I'm a great gardener, I love my yard, and I have a farm. Here I am, a manufacturing guy, been 52 years, you know, beating iron to death. And today I try to grow corn, soybeans, and wheat. <laughs> I still drive a late model pickup on propane. I have three <laughs> propane tractors in my, on my farm, which we use, they're not just antiques. I have an all propane house and I mow my lawn with a propane mower. <laughs> Lou and I have traveled a lot after meeting two and a half years ago, and we plan to travel a lot more in the future. Thank you for a great evening. <laughs> <laughs>